I have here four different AR-15 bolt extractor springs. Starting with the one on the left, this will be a standard basic spring. It's made of 20 thousandths wire. I'm measuring a free length of 160 thousandths. Now this is not apples to apples because this one's used and the rest are not. So they tend to get shorter once they've been under tension for a little while. They kind of settle into a new overall length. So it's 20 thousandths, about 160.160 inches long. <clears throat> it's about three and a quarter turns of the actual wire. The ends are ground flat and it's got a white finish. Then we have the so-called four coil spring co spring and the so-called five coil. So the four coil is four turns. The five coil is about four and a half. They're both chrome silicon wire, about 26 thousandths diameter wire. They last a lot longer, but they may be more rust prone. And even the manufacturer kind of admitted that if I'm not into worrying about keeping these oiled, they're probably not the springs for me. The four coil is ground flat on the ends and the five coil is not. I got the four coil out of a kit. The five coil came out of a Fathers of Freedom, Palmetto State Armory, Microvest Bolt Carrier Group. And I noticed that this one feels softer, which makes sense. The longer the spring, the softer it'll be, right? You cut a spring in half and it'll be twice as stiff because there's less coil to, to compress. But it is a little longer at 215 and this one about 200 thousandths of an inch. And then we come to what I am now considering my go-to. It is the Colt SP64026, I think. It's 26 thousandths wire. It's about three and a half turns. It is about as stiff as the five coil and they call it the copper or gold spring. It's, it's some kind of steel wire washed in beryllium copper. And some say it's for identification, some say it's for corrosion. Um, then a couple of comments here. So originally M16 AR15 springs were run with the so-called buffer. And then with the advent of the M4, at some point, they started using the O-ring to increase tension. And, you know, this guy came with insert and O-ring. This comes in a kit with insert and O-ring. This came out of a bolt with insert, no O-ring. And this came with just the insert or the, the buffer. And from conversations with people in the industry... I'm told that any M16, M4 that goes to the armory for an overhaul today would get this spring, the O-ring, no insert. 